And lastly, we trust people like us. We trust people that are like us. So all of a sudden, social media is coming at just the right time for marketing. This is the tool that is necessary. It's why social responsibility is so important now, and social networking is a potent tool to gain trust. Because if we want to talk to people like us, what better than using technology and, and learning about things for our friends? So I hope that was good to walk. So uh, I want to share something about social, about social good and the way this presentation actually has happened, in a way, has been through social good, through social media, on Twitter. Eric Weaver and I connected on Twitter. I learned about this on Twitter. I uh, had, I was doing my research, pulling up some different examples, and I thought, what in the hell am I doing? This is about social media. I should ask my friends. Hey, where have you seen social media used for social good? And I have a few friends in social media, maybe a thousand in aggregate. Guy Kawasaki has one or two more, and Chris Brogan has one or two more, and thank goodness they're in my little network of people that I know. So I asked them, and I received about 70 ideas in less than a day. People looking to help me help you. That was the reason why they did it. They had nothing to gain, they're busy people, we're all busy. They took the time to send me a message and share an idea, sometimes over several messages, sometimes over emails. And I'm, I'm going to thank them. But I, up front, I need to thank Chris and Guy, even though they aren't here. In fact, they took the time to actually, they trusted me to their network, and their network thereby shared with you. So a lot of these examples come from them. I did not find some of these examples uh, through research. They were shared with me. Um, these are just a few of the responses of about four pages of tweets that I got from folks that were sharing ideas with me. And I'm not really very good at looking ahead and talk about um, Hopefully this will work. I want to start sharing a few examples now. Um, this is a video that I hope in the trail will work. This is our first try. We're sort of running. This is one where I had it embedded, but I did not have the time to re-embed it. Okay. You really can't hear the volume much. Anyone seen this, this ad? Charity water, a lot of social media is being driven now. I, I don't care what anybody says, the best social media campaigns are still using some advertising. Um, they're using some traditional media. Um, Charity water actually played that in prime time and really took off. They were already doing quite well just through relationships. Um, let me go back. Not as elegant as the way I was doing it the other way. So the website, can't see it very well, so it's so bright in here. But basically what Charity Water is, is you buy oddly bottled water. You go, wait a minute, bottled water isn't any good for the environment. Well, they charge you quite a bit of money for the water. And 100% of the proceeds go to charity. Because they've been sponsored to cover all the costs by corporate sponsors. Charity Water is... Uh, doing some amazing things. I would urge you to take a few minutes when we're done. I'm going to share this online with you. I'll slide share it. Um, but take some time to actually check out Charity Water. I think you'll be impressed. Anyone heard of free rice? 
Free rice is an amazing story, really, when you think about it. Free rice uh, has this really interesting concept where it sort of rewards you for coming to their site and actually having fun, um, if you like words, like I do. What you do is you, you basically try and figure out the best answer to each word, and each time you get a word right, it gives you 20 points, which actually it's 20 grains of rice, which doesn't sound like much. But if you get enough people doing this, it adds up. And you, you actually, the kids are using it, people are using it, and it's about language and vocabulary and things like that. But as you use it, the rice sort of fills the bowl. And once you get so many right, you get 100. And it goes along the side there. So um, 500,000 people are using it daily right now. Half a million people. 37 billion grains of rice. They fed 700,000 people, including 27,000 Myanmar, Myanmar uh, refugees. I've got a video here. I don't think I'm going to do it, but um, there's a video here that actually shows what's happening there. It's pretty moving, really. But it's about five minutes long. I was going to cut to a little piece in it. Um, but it's uh, this is in nine months. It's pretty impressive. Anyone heard of causes on Facebook or MySpace? Uh, this is probably going to be as instrumental as anything in, help, in getting people involved in charity. And what's great is uh, people are, are donating that have never donated before because it's so simple. Um, the statistics on causes is there's 12 million user, users, 80,000 causes, 20,000 of those causes have been funded already. 2.5 million has been uh, invested by people at about 10 to 25 to 30 dollars a pop. Um, on Facebook, there's 60,000 users a day, and on MySpace, 25,000 users a day. What's important about this is that you can set up a cause in about three minutes, and it can be anything. So there's legitimate causes, save Darfur. There's, you know, help me. You know, keep my stocks clean. I mean, there's some, there's some silly stuff too. But the point is, is that they've created an engine and 100% of the dollars go to charity. Um, Network for Good and Global Giving are two organizations you should be really familiar with. Um, they had a, a, a kind of a competition. Parade Magazine and the Case Foundation, Steve Case. Uh, Steve Case, actually, uh, his foundation, along with Cisco and another uh, tech company, I forget which one, founded Network for Good. And Network for Good is uh, doing some amazing things. They had, this was over the course of about six weeks. They had a competition, basically, between Network for Good and Global Giving. Global Giving is more of a philanthropical site. And the total number of donations versus charity badges versus the donation amount the number of donations in one day. This was all through Network for Good and Global Giving. Yes? Are charity badges like like badges you put on your blog? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, kind of wanted to, to go in a different direction here. Social media is helping a lot of people in a lot of ways that you never expect. Um, my father had Parkinson's disease my whole life. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Parkinson's disease, it's what Michael J. Fox has and, and Muhammad Ali. Growing up, nobody knew those people. And my dad had it since I was 